Now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Pili. A beautiful day today. It was nice shot going over Kailua towards Waimanalo. Not much clouds in the sky. And for tomorrow, we're really looking, for the most part, similar conditions. The only thing, though, aside from what's going on above the ocean, we also have a high surf advisory for our ocean. Now, that's for the east-facing shores until tomorrow morning. We don't expect that to be extended. However, with a new northwest swell coming through, we expect high surf advisory for north and west-facing shores that may even start tomorrow evening into Tuesday. Now, what we're going to be expecting in terms of moisture. It's going to be very beautiful for the next couple days. We do have moisture lingering north of the islands, and that's with that first cold front that we've been expecting. We don't expect it to push further down. We really do expect it to kind of just linger north of the islands, but with the boundary and the clouds that are part of it, could be pushed down towards Kauai and Niihau, bringing some moisture, extra sprinkles. But other than that, nothing really significant. The next really big weather maker will be coming in the middle of the week. But as we see so far across the islands, again, very beautiful day outside. We do see some of that moisture being pushed in for Niihau and Kauai, again, due to that cold front. Here on Oahu, not much sprinkles at all. We do see some cloud coverage building during the afternoon hours for our mountaintops. Other than that, very beautiful conditions across the islands. Hawaii Islands see most of the moisture that's being blown up from the deep tropics. And the moisture that's situated south of the island. Now again, that cold front will be uh, the really stationary. The one impact that it is really uh, giving to our islands is our light variable winds. And even though the light, the winds will be light, we're expecting it to be variable at least into the middle of the week when we start to expect our trade winds to return. But it's still going to be cool. Now aside from that next cold front that will be coming through in the middle of the week, there's also going to be an upper level disturbance that will be shifting west towards east approaching Wednesday, lasting through the weekend. And it's at that time frame around Tuesday, uh, sorry, Thursday, Friday is when we see this next cold front coming and that upper Upper level disturbance really mixing with each other, creating an increased chance of shower activity again Thursday, Friday for all the islands. Checking out our Heinalu, our surf around the islands 10 to 14 up north, 6 to 9 on the west, flat to 2 down south, and 4 to 6 calmer conditions on the east as that northeast swell diminishes. Now, the next few days, again, beautiful. Light variable winds will continue until Wednesday when that upper level disturbance and that next cold front comes about. That's where we're going to see an increase of shower activity, and the plus is that. That trade winds will be back and ramping to breezy conditions leading into the weekend and even surpassing our extended forecast. So it's going to be nice, cool, and comfortable leading up into this holiday season. Sam, toss it back to you.